Hi guys, it's Debbie from HealingFromBPD.org. I just have a brief message today as we go into May, which is actually Borderline Personality Disorder Awareness Month. And what I'm going to say today is based on comments I've been seeing from readers around disturbing or upsetting websites that are out there that are anti-BPD or that use the term BPDs in borderlines and nons, meaning people that don't have it. Um, I find that alone upsetting because we don't say like if someone has cancer in the family that this person has cancer and we're the nons. So I already find that to be kind of like separating and stigmatizing in and of itself. But what I want to encourage you guys to do, especially as we go into May, is if you're researching a certain topic to help you out with emotions that you're dealing with or anything around borderline personality disorder or if you have a loved one and you're looking for ways of supporting them or coping or taking care of yourself around the difficulties that can come up with you know someone having an emotion regulation disorder in the family if you come across what looks like is going to be an anti uh, BPD site or a site that um, attacks or is stigmatized or is really angry or hateful or cruel or mean towards people that have BPD, please don't click on it. Now when you go onto Google and other websites, you usually see a little snippet so you have an idea of what's coming or you see the name of the post or the name of the website or a little bit of information. Because when you do that, you're just encouraging those people to continue to create that kind of content because they're thinking people are looking for this and they want to see this, so they're going to create more of it. Um, you may also be improving their rankings on Google by clicking on those um, posts. But most importantly, the reason why I want to encourage you to refrain from doing that is for your own self-care and your own heart. I know in the past I had um, just a couple of times clicked on things even out of morbid curiosity because I could tell it was going to be anti-BPD and I thought, oh, maybe I could read this and, and change them and persuade them. But it only ended up making me feel really horribly, mentally, physically, everything. So I want you to take care of yourselves and realize that I'm doing a heck of a lot of work as are a number of other people out there really putting themselves out there with this information, trying to break down stigmas, trying to show the reality of the situation and uh, give people more insight and understanding. The problem is a lot of these folks who have created websites like this or who write up blog posts like this have been really emotionally hurt badly by somebody who happens to have BPD. But I mean people are wronged and hurt and, and have relationship problems with people of all backgrounds with no diagnosis at all or with a completely different diagnosis. So what we want to do is um, put information out there that is realistic about our experience as individuals, as people, not just as a label. So if you have a blog or if you do vlog videos like this or if you've done anything to get out there and start spreading positivity, accurate information, etc. about borderline personality disorder as we go into the awareness month, let me know so that I can check it out and possibly even share it with everyone else. Okay guys, so please use self-care, use self-care around self-media, um, self social media too. If you start seeing things that are upsetting, you take a little break. You know, get off of Twitter for a little while, get off of Facebook, do what you need to do to take care of you. It's, that's the most important thing. Your health is number one, taking care and making sure that you're feeling healthy, strong, and stable. Okay guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in the next video or blog post.